While all major 3D applications come with default render engines, a lot of large studios don't use them for rendering. For example, MPC Studios, a global VFX studio behind movies like Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, Transformers The Rise of the Beast and more, uses Maya as their main 3D application but uses Renderman for rendering, instead of Arnold which comes installed with Maya. There are many reasons why a studio or artist may choose a third-party render engine over a built-in one. And one of the main reasons is that every render engine has its strengths and weaknesses. Choosing the wrong render engine for a job can mean longer render times or subpar render quality. For example, Mirror is the popular choice for ArcVis rendering because of its high-quality photorealistic renders, while Redshift is generally recognized for its rendering speed. So while Cycles is a great render engine for Blender, it may not always be the best for every scenario, neither is it your only option. So today, let's look at alternative render engines for Blender. Number 1. Luxcore Before Cycles came to Blender, Luxcore was the go-to option for anyone who wanted realistic rendering on par with other professional rendering engines. Luxcore is free, open source and physically best. This means all the PBR textures that you have collected over time will work perfectly with Luxcore. Luxcore also has most of the features Cycles have like viewport preview and a fast optics denoiser. You can also work with Luxcore materials directly in the node editor like you would with Cycles. ProRender is yet another free render engine you can add to your favorites. It's physically best, fully integrated into Blender and comes with its own optimized material library. An environment and sky setup with support for real-time ray tracing and AI acceleration on compatible hardware. ProRender offers cutting edge features that are increasingly important in modern rendering workflow. While ProRender provides good rendering quality, its performance can vary depending on the hardware. Some users report slow rendering times compared to other GPU renders like Redshift or Octane, especially on less powerful hardware. Blender, being an open source 3D software, supports several other open source rendering engines besides its native engines, Cycles and Eevee. Among several others, Appleseed is a physically based global illumination rendering engine designed for animation and VFX. It offers both biased and unbiased rendering methods. Appleseed is actively developed by a small international team of talented volunteers from the animation and VFX industry. Its core mission is to provide individuals and small studios with a complete, reliable, fully open rendering package. Appleseed implements a modern workflow based on path tracing that enables artifact-free single-pass rendering with very little technical tuning. It is simultaneously capable of strictly unbiased rendering when total accuracy matters, and biased rendering when artistic freedom and shorter rendering time are paramount. Okay, now let's go into more professional paid options for Blender. Indigo Renderer, while a lesser known render engine, it is still a well respected render engine in the artist community, especially among those who, who prioritize photorealism and physical accuracy in their renders. It uses unbiased rendering techniques, which means it calculates light and materials as accurately as possible. This feature is particularly appreciated by artists who focus on architectural visualization and interior design. Indigo Renderer is not typically known for its speed, especially compared to more mainstream render engines like Redshift or Octane. It focuses on physical accuracy over speed and can lead to longer render times, which might be a drawback for artists working under tight deadlines. V-Ray is a robust render engine that is available for all major applications, including Blender. It is very popular among ArcViz artists and it's optimized to use multiple CPU cores and GPU. This means that when rendering, no resources are left idle. The main reason why artists like this engine is how it can create clean, sharp materials and textures. This is very important in architecture as a room can have multiple materials and textures that are slightly different. These slight differences might be lost with other render engines but not with V-Ray. Redshift, now owned by Maxon, is a popular GPU accelerated renderer widely used in the 3D artist community. It's especially favored in motion graphics and visual effects. One of the most praised aspects of Redshift is its speed because as a GPU based renderer, it allows for rapid rendering, which is particularly beneficial for artists working under tight deadlines or needing to iterate quickly. Despite its fast rendering times, Redshift doesn't significantly compromise on quality. 
Artists appreciate its ability to deliver high quality, visually appealing results, especially for complex scenes. For those already familiar with, with Redshift, its integration into Blender is generally smooth. However, for artists new to Redshift, there is a learning curve, particularly in understanding how to optimize render settings for the best performance and quality. D5 Render is a relatively new entrant in the rendering software market and it has quickly gained attention for its capabilities, especially in architecture visualization and design. While D5 is not fully integrated into Blender, D5 Sync is a live sync plugin that links Blender with D5 Render. For the D5 Sync plugin to work, you have to install D5. This is not a drawback as D5 comes with a rich asset library which is a significant time saver. D5 is not free but includes a free version with limited features which makes it accessible for hobbyists and professionals. D5 leverages real-time rendering technology which is highly appreciated for its speed. This allows for immediate visual feedback and significantly speeds up the design and revision process. Finally, Corona Render. Made by Chaos, the same company behind Vray, it's not surprising that Corona is highly regarded in the 3D rendering and visual effects community, particularly for architectural visualization and interior design. One of the most lauded feature of Corona Render is its user friendliness. Compared to other rendering software, many artists find it easier to learn and use, making it accessible even to those who are relatively new to 3D rendering. Unlike some of the other popular render engines that are GPU based, Corona is CPU based, which means that rendering times can be longer, especially for, for complex scenes. The quality of the output is often worth the wait, though. Yeah, those were some of the render engines alternative render engines for Blender. Some are free, some are paid. You can look at them and see how you can use them. I'll be leaving links to tutorials on how to use them or how to install them in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.